My main goal is to blow up. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Pikmin 4. I think we should start with a little night mission today. You know, just to spice things up a bit. Oh, oh my god. There's an icy little ball borb guy, like, right there. Oh, but at least there's just one lumen all this time. Should we give him a little ram? Oh, okay. There we go. E at least the little glow Pikmin don't freeze. Oh, also, I don't know if I mentioned this, because I think I did it in between last episode and this episode, but I upgraded Ochi's little, like, ram thing, so it stuns enemies for a little bit now. Oh my god, what is this giant egg over here? Should I throw some little glow Pikmin? I think I should. Oh my god. It's like, it's about to break. What is about to come out of this egg? Oh, okay, it's just those. I was not ready for that. Zero out of ten, underwhelming egg experience. Oh my god, that enemy just touched the back of that bulb orb and then froze and then fell on the ground and broke. Can we still ride these things even though it's nighttime? Oh, yep, we sure can. Are there any little secrets up here? Oh, nope, just more little star bit things. Oh my god, the creatures, they're about to attack the thing. Oh god. Oh my god, these stupid little sheer wigs are literally ruining my life. Oh god, here comes Mr. Icy Face. Oh, oh my god, everything is touching the icy guy and they're all just freezing. Uh, I think I should use a little glow mob. I haven't been doing that a lot, but it does work pretty good. Is that the last guy over there? He's walking a little lopsided. Oh, there we go. Right on the forehead. All right, well, that one really wasn't that bad, actually. I'm almost to 100 glow seeds, so, you know, that's good. That was a hoot and a half. Now we can go back to Hero's Hideaway. You know, as per usual. I think I'm gonna try to do the last cave today, because, you know, I don't really know what else to do. Oh, but I guess I should go get the icy onion off the ground over there. I kind of just left it there last time. There it is, just sitting over there on the floor all by itself. I guess I'll have the ice Pikmin carry it back, because, you know, who doesn't love a bit of theming? Oh. There we go. It has been a hot minute since we got a new onion. It's all blue and icy. Oh wow. Okay, now we have that little part on the onion, which also means I think, yeah, I can make my own ice Pikmin now, so I shouldn't have to worry about losing them as much. There's a treasure and a cave and an enemy, and then over here there's like a time trial. Maybe I'll just try and do everything. Oh, oh god, look who it is. Good old Moss. I'm just gonna do a little ram. Just like always, oh my god. Now that that's taken care of, um, I guess I should try and get up to the little time mission thing. I think to do this little, like, puzzly thing right here, I might have to switch to Ochi, and then, I don't know, leave him here, and then go across with Veronica. Because then once I'm over here, this little fan thing is off, and then Ochi can just jump on this button, and yeah, the whole world works. Oh, here we go. Over to the time trial. Oh, and he's purple. He's a happy little purple creature. Is this the last leafling? Actually, I don't think this is the last leafling, because technically I still have- oh my god, it's a little Pikmin waterfall. Oh, one of the yellows carried the card back, I didn't even notice. Oh, okay, we should be able to open the bunker now. It's 761. This place is called Hefty Hallway. That's a fun name. Oh, here we go. We have a crimson banquet in the ground right here, so I think I might just let Ochi carry that back. Oh my god, look how quick he could dig. Oh, a funny little creature. Can I maybe freeze him and make him fall? You know, I'm a big fan of doing that. Oh, yes, I can. Oh my god, there's a violet candy pop bud over here. There we go, and then I can put one on each of these little things over here. So, I was in AP Calculus yesterday, and we had to set up this account thing to do, like, this math website online thing. Anyway, but, um, everyone was setting up their accounts, and the only one that didn't work was mine. So that was really annoying. And then I kept trying everything to make it work, but nothing was working, of course. So then I came home, and I called the company that was like with the little account thing. So I called their little customer support thing because I was like, I really do not want to talk to like the teachers at my school to get this fixed because they're not going to know what to do. So I called them and then I was on the phone for two hours with three different people, but I did get it fixed in the end. So, you know, it all worked out. Oh my God, there's only two minutes left. I don't know if I'm going to get a platinum on this one. Oh wow, I just made it to the area where you could switch your base and I only have 30 seconds left. Um, I could probably get this tomato back. I guess that'll help. Um, okay, there we go. I got silver. I'll just, you know, fix it later. Oh, I did not realize you could move the camera around during cutscenes. Oh yay, we explored 50% of the area. I guess that means there's a lot of area behind the bunker. Leafling recovered. Good work. Hmm, let's see here. Oh, Error. That's a weird name. Okay, I think to get up to where that cave is, we have to go up these little building block things and then go on this. Oh, yep, here we go. Oh, and we have another funky little snoot whacker. Those things are called snoot whackers. I love that name. 
Oh, oh my god, all the Pikmin just fell off that picture frame. Okay, let's see what this last little cave is all about. Ooh, the Plunder Palace. Everywhere I look in this cave reminds me of home. Playing together with the children, sitting around the table, sharing a meal as a family, as the dog pilfers my side dish. Just that humdrum routine, irreplaceable everyday life. Oh, oh, this place has bread bugs. I love bread bugs. Oh, okay, we need purples, rocks, and yellows. That's a fun little combo. Oh my god, look at that little creature. He's such a little creature. Oh, look, he wants to say hello. Hold on, let me just throw a couple rocks at him. Oh, that was kind of sad. Oh, he's not happy about it. Um, I should probably kill these little things because I don't like their faces and they kill my Pikmin. Oh, that bread bug. Oh my god, he just buried that thing. He must have been a gambling bread bug. Oh, oh my god, that bread bug. He's fighting with the purple Pikmin. Oh, you can't lose this round of tug of war. Oh my god, look at him. They're gonna pull him and I think he's gonna hit his head off the thing. Oh, poor bread bug. Um, why was there just a dead amp rat in the- That's kind of the only, like, good way to damage a bread bug, is to make it fight with you over something and then make it hit its head, because this is not doing too much. No, oh, he's- eh, oh, he- oh my god, that was scary, he almost ate my rock pikmin. Oh, and there's dice over there. You know what, these bread bugs, they all have gambling addictions. On to sub-level 2. I think I might have a bit of an idea of what the boss of this place is gonna be. Oh, oh my god, there's a whip tongue ball orb down here, and he's fighting with a bunch of rock pikmin. Is there anything fun in these little eggs over here? Oh, babies, babies in the eggs. Oh, and now there's even more rock pikmin up here. I think we're about to have 100 pikmin. Oh, here, I want to make this guy hit himself with this. Hit yourself. Okay. Oh. Okay. Um, oh my god, he killed a yellow, you little rat. I feel like I keep killing yellow Pikmin in this area for some reason. Okay, I think that's the last treasure again. This cave is going pretty smoothly so far, you know, except for that one yellow, but you know, we won't talk about him. He had it coming if you ask me. Oh, I love it when the caves have little, like, mini bosses halfway through. The Porkeon actually cannot kill rock Pikmin because they can't get stabbed by stuff. I guess that's why they gave you one of these little rock Pikmin candy pop buds, which I think this is the first time we're seeing one of those. I, like, can't reach the platform that he's standing on, so I guess I'll just throw him from down here. Oh yeah, see? This is working pretty good. Yeah, the Porkeon literally cannot do anything. Who is this person gonna be? Oh, Research Task Force Recruit Twyla from Konohan, a young researcher who is passionate about sedimentary rock and geological features but avoids its messy counterpart, dirt. Okay, that was a pretty good floor. I keep calling them floors, but like they're sublevels. I don't know. I just think we're in a hotel or something. Uh oh, it's a waddle quaff. Those are kind of annoying, I guess, except not when they're dead. Oh, look at that little bread bug. He thinks he can gamble. What do you think you're doing? I guess that's why it's good to bring purple Pikmin, because then they could just fight him. Here, let me see if I can get this guy's little tongue stuck in the ground. Oh yeah, because then you could just run behind him and throw a bunch of Pikmin and kill him really easily. Let me try and make this bread bug pick up the body. Yeah. Oh, wait, where's he taking that? I don't want him to, like, pick it up. Oh, okay. Pick that thing back up and go hit your head off the thing. Hello? Why aren't you listening to me? Oh my god, they really buried that waddle quaff, didn't they? Okay, we're going on a private Ochi adventure, so, you know. That's always fun. I think there's just a waddle quaff over here, though, so that's not really bad. Oh my god, he's eating the poker chips. Everybody down here has a gambling addiction. I think someone might be leaf blowing outside, so if you can hear that, I'm sorry. There's not even any leaves. What could they possibly be blowing? Oh my god, there he is, the giant bread bug. What a majestic creature. Oh my god, he has the thing. He has the guy. Oh, okay, I probably shouldn't have done that, though. I think if they drag whatever it is back to their little base area, then your Pikmin that are trying to, like, fight against it die. Although I don't know, because these bread bugs in this game don't really have holes. Like in the older games, they have little holes that they hid their stuff in, but now they just kind of bury it. Uh-oh, we have a full-on ball bear walking around the place. Oh my god, there's two giant bread bugs just walking all around all over the place. Oh no! Oh no, 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 don't eat my purple Pikmin! Oh my god, did I save it? I think I saved it. Oh, look at him. He is totally getting dragged. Oh, there you are. I'm using one of my red potions, because I never use those. Oh my god, that was beautiful. Oh, oh, there we go. Oh, he bonked his head. Leafling recovered. Good work. Oh, error. That's a weird name. All these leaflings everywhere we go. There are more of them. I'm going to need to stock up on medicine. Good thing we already did that. Oh, look at him go. Look at that little rat creature. Oh, he's taking it. He is taking that thing. Oh, not anymore, though. Time to drag him back and make him hit his head again. Excuse me, Mr. Giant Breadbug. Can I throw rocks at you? It does not seem like I can. Oh, there goes that one, though. He dead. And a bunch of poker chips fell out of him. Like, literally, what is with these people? I'm gonna make three purple Pikmin carry each of these little baby ball bears back, so then if the giant bread bug tries to do something, he won't be able to do anything. Oh, see? My plan's working perfectly. Oh my god, wait! The purple Pikmin just, like, bounced on his head. Okay, there we go. 
Oh, no, he shook them off. What a little rat. Okay, now they got him. Now they're dragging him. And you know what? Just to rub some salt in the wound, I'm gonna throw rocks at him while they do it. Oh, here we go. Oh, and he is dead. Ooh, and he dropped a little macaron. Yeah, ooh. We eat baguettes. And there is a violet candy pop bud over here, so maybe it's okay that we lost that yellow earlier. Oh my god, there's a puffy blowhog on top of this table. That is a pretty good place to put one of those. And there's a flarlic up here, which actually... I think that might be the final Flarlic, because we're at 90 Pikmin right now, so that'll make 100. I think this is the last little treasure in the entire cave, and it's a candy cane. That was a pretty good cave. It was very different, and you know, I love bread bugs, so it was pretty good. Investigation complete, 100%, and we only lost one yellow Pikmin, which isn't too bad. Oh my god, there goes the Flarlic. I think that's the last one, but I guess we're gonna find out right now. Finally, we're able to take out 100 Pikmin at a time. Nothing can stop us now. Oh wow, we actually still have some day left, which is pretty crazy. I guess I did that cave kind of fast, but it looks like the only thing left to do is go unlock this, but obviously I don't want to do that right now. What should I do with the rest of my day? Um, I think I'm gonna move my base over here, and then I guess I could collect some ultra spicy berries, even though I have 39, 39 ultra spicy sprays. Oh wow, Ochi can break a pillow posy in one little bite now. Okay, I think that was a really productive day, you know. I love to be productive. Oh wow, the pup drive went from zero to five today. Oh yeah, and now we get to cure two people at once. Research task force recruit Kit from Sigure, an expert in minerals and social niceties. Nicety. Niceties. He joined the task force to study raw materials alongside former classmate Osa. And we also have research task force recruit Como from Tagwa, here to study hydrologic cycles. She hopes her research will save her home planet from industry-caused ecological destruction. Okay, well, I think today was pretty good, so I suppose I'll end the video here. Thank you all so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed, and, um, yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye!